Hey guys, in this tutorial, I wanna share with you a few quick tips to improve the audio of your built-in camera microphone. Obviously, using the built-in microphone on your camera is not the ideal choice, but sometimes you may not have a choice, and that's where this tutorial comes in. Okay, so the built-in microphone on your camera may not be the ideal choice to use, but maybe you forgot your main microphone, or maybe you don't have another microphone. Quick PSA, if you're looking for a starter microphone, I highly recommend these miniature shotgun style microphones that mount on top of a camera. These drastically improve the audio quality. They're perfect for vlogs and they don't require a battery, so you just plug them in, they're ready to go. This is the Rode Video Micro, and this is the Deity D4 Duo, which actually has two mics, which makes it even easier for recording vlog content. Both of these are under $100. Okay, so back to improving our built-in camera mic. The first tip is super obvious, but that's gonna just be recording close to the microphone. Definitely no further than an arm's length away, and the closer the better, and this is really true for most mics. The audio quality on built-in mics is usually pretty shallow, and this helps eliminate the mic from picking up too much background noise. Keeping the microphone close is usually pretty easy for vlog-style content, but if you need to record a separate audio narration, just stand right in front of the microphone at face level and record the audio on a separate video clip. I definitely recommend doing this indoors as well just because it's gonna be quieter and a lot of people like to record audio in a clothing closet because those clothes just absorb that extra sound that's bouncing around. Tip number two is to turn off the automatic audio leveling settings and level limiters on the camera mic. In most cases, at least from my experience, these settings tend to do more harm than good, especially auto leveling when nobody's talking, it tends to increase the room noise way too much. I highly recommend turning these settings off and just monitor the audio levels on the camera. And after you do this, you're probably gonna wanna dial down the microphone input levels as well. I usually set the audio level down to something like negative 10 or negative 12 dB, but your camera may be different, so do some test recordings to see which level sounds best with your camera. Next, if you're recording outside, cover the microphone with a lens cleaning cloth. Built-in camera mics tend to be extremely sensitive to wind since they really don't have any wind protection. So taping a cloth temporarily over the mic will help a lot. And this doesn't have to look pretty. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee you this will not look pretty, but that lens cloth will act as a windshield for that microphone. And side note, I always recommend keeping a lens cleaning cloth and a small amount of gaff tape in a backup kit for video shoots. And we actually have a full video on that. So check for that link in the description and on the blog post. Finally, the last tip is to boost the base of the audio in post. As I mentioned earlier, the audio on built-in camera mics tends to be very shallow, so adding some bass to that can make the audio sound a lot more natural. You can use your own preferred video editor to do this. I'm using Premiere Pro, and all you need to do is search for the bass effect, apply it, and then boost the bass dB a little bit. And of course, you can always tweak the audio even more with other secondary effects. Some examples would be effects like equalizer, denoise, and vocal enhancer. All right, guys, hopefully these quick tips will help you get better audio from those built-in camera mics. And be sure to check out the other tutorials we have over on the Shutterstock channel. There's some great new content on there. Again, I am Charles, and I will catch you guys on the next one.